Have you ever wondered why Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, is so close to the Sun? This tiny, scorched planet is a celestial enigma that has captivated astronomers for centuries. Mercury, named after the Roman messenger god, is unique in many ways. It's positioned right next to our blazing sun, yet it manages to survive and spin in its own unique rhythm. Despite being the smallest planet, Mercury's proximity to the sun gives it a distinct character, one that's a blend of extreme temperatures and a startlingly barren landscape. Its size is comparable to our moon, yet its presence in our solar system is so much more than just being another celestial body. It's a testament to the diversity that exists within our very own cosmic neighborhood. Mercury, with its molten core and thin exosphere, stands as a testament to the extraordinary variety of our solar system. Today, journey with us as we delve into the history and mysteries of this small yet fascinating planet. Our journey begins with the ancients, who first spotted this elusive planet. Long before the advent of modern technology, ancient civilizations were keen observers of the sky. They marveled at the celestial bodies, seeking to understand their purpose and movements. Among these celestial bodies one stood out due to its swift movement across the sky. We know this planet today as Mercury. In the realm of ancient Babylon, this speedy planet was recognized as early as the second millennium BC. The Babylonians named it Nabu, after their god of writing and wisdom. Nabu was known for his swift delivery of messages, a trait that perfectly mirrored the planet's quick orbit around the sun. The Greeks too noticed this fast-moving planet. They were a bit confused though, they assumed Mercury to be two separate bodies, visible at twilight and dawn. They named these bodies Apollo when seen in the morning, and Hermes when spotted in the evening. It wasn't until later that they realized their mistake, recognizing that Apollo and Hermes were in fact one and the same. The Romans, inheritors of Greek astronomy, adopted this planet into their own cosmology. They named it Mercury, after their own messenger of the gods. Just like his Greek counterpart, Hermes, the Roman god Mercury was known for his speed and agility. A fitting name indeed for the fastest planet in our solar system. So the planet Mercury has been known to us for thousands of years, its swift journey across the sky observed by countless generations. But despite its visibility, it remained an enigma. Its close proximity to the sun made detailed observations difficult, and the mysteries of Mercury remained locked away. Yet, as the centuries rolled on, our curiosity never waned. Our thirst for knowledge and understanding led us to develop new tools, new methods of observation. The invention of the telescope brought the stars closer, and with it, the chance to unravel the secrets of the heavens. Fast forward to the era of telescopes, and Mercury's secrets begin to unfold. With the advent of the telescope, a new window into Mercury's world opened. This humble tool, which revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, was instrumental in unveiling the secrets of the swift planet, Mercury. Early astronomers like Giovanni Zuppus and Johann Schroeder were the pioneers in this uncharted territory. Zuppus, with his keen eye and unwavering dedication, was the first to realize that Mercury had a rotational period, a day, so to speak. This was a significant step forward, but it wasn't easy to determine. The planet's close proximity to the Sun made observations challenging, as the intense light often obscured the view. Despite these obstacles, Zuppus persevered. With a calculated blend of observation and inference, he estimated Mercury's day to be about 24 Earth hours. While his estimate was off, we now know Mercury's day to be 59 Earth days. His groundbreaking work laid the foundation for future studies. Johann Schroeder, another early astronomer, took the baton from Zuppus and ran with it. His observations and documentation of Mercury's features were meticulous. He spent countless nights peering through his telescope, sketching the changing surface of Mercury. His work gave us our first true glimpse of the planet's landscape. Yet Mercury remained a planet of mystery. Its close proximity to the Sun continued to pose a challenge for astronomers. The intense solar light made it difficult to study the planet in detail, and many of its features remained hidden from our view. But as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. The challenges posed by Mercury's position drove astronomers to innovate and improve their telescopes, leading to the development of more advanced observation techniques. As technology advanced, so did our understanding of this swift planet. The early studies of Zuppus and Schroeder unlocked the door to Mercury, paving the way for future exploration and discovery. 
their work reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, human curiosity and ingenuity always find a way. The space age took our exploration of Mercury to a whole new level. As the era of telescopes gave way to the age of interplanetary spacecraft, our understanding of this enigmatic planet began to grow in leaps and bounds. In the year 1974, NASA's Mariner 10 became the first spacecraft to visit Mercury. This pioneering mission revealed a world of extreme contrasts, with temperatures fluctuating between a blistering 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and a frigid minus 290 degrees at night. But perhaps the most astonishing discovery was that Mercury, despite its small size and proximity to the Sun, possessed a magnetic field. This was a revelation that defied our understanding of planetary science. Fast forward to 2008, and we find the Messenger spacecraft, another trailblazer from NASA, embarking on its own journey to Mercury. Over the course of its seven-year mission, Messenger made several critical discoveries. It found that Mercury's magnetic field was indeed generated by a dynamo process, just like the Earth's. It also confirmed the existence of water ice in the permanently shadowed regions of Mercury's poles. This discovery in particular sparked a flurry of excitement. Could this mean that Mercury, against all odds, might harbor the conditions necessary for life? But it wasn't just about the scientific findings. These missions also demonstrated our ability to conquer the challenges of space exploration. They showed us that even the smallest planet, closest to the Sun and with an environment so hostile, could be reached and studied in intricate detail. These missions paved the way for further exploration, revealing even more about Mercury's intriguing characteristics. As we continue to probe the mysteries of our solar system, Mercury serves as a reminder of our potential to venture into the unknown and return with knowledge that reshapes our understanding of the universe. The exploration of Mercury continues and recent research has brought fascinating new insights. Each new mission, each new study peels back another layer of the enigma that is Mercury, the solar system's smallest and innermost planet. A key player in the latest research is the BepiColombo mission. This ambitious project is a joint venture between the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Launched in October 2018, BepiColombo's main objectives are to understand the origin and evolution of a planet close to the parent star. The mission aims to study Mercury's magnetic field, geology, and interior structure, along with its exosphere, a thin atmosphere-like volume surrounding the planet. One of the most exciting recent findings has been the discovery of tectonic activity on Mercury. For a long time scientists believed that tectonic activity was exclusive to Earth. However, new evidence suggests that Mercury's surface is not as static as we once thought. Its craggy, cracked surface tells a tale of a planet that is geologically alive, with forces beneath its surface causing it to crack and shift. In addition, studies of Mercury's exosphere have yielded intriguing results. Unlike the thick atmospheres we're accustomed to on Earth or even Mars, an exosphere is extremely thin, with atoms and molecules bouncing around like billiard balls. Mercury's exosphere is unique, composed mainly of sodium, potassium, and calcium. Understanding this can provide essential insights into the processes that are shaping Mercury's surface and its interaction with the solar wind. The more we learn about Mercury, the more questions we have. Its proximity to the Sun, its tiny size, and its surprising geological activity all contribute to its unique nature and the mysteries it continues to hold. As we continue to explore, who knows what other secrets Mercury holds? From ancient observations to the latest space missions, our understanding of Mercury has come a long way. The journey to this understanding has been fascinating, filled with intriguing discoveries and advancements. We've looked back to the times when Mercury was first spotted in the night sky by ancient astronomers, a celestial body that inspired wonder and curiosity. We've delved into the era of telescopic observations, where we started to discern the finer details of this nearby planet. Then we ventured into the space age, where our technology allowed us to reach out and touch Mercury, to analyze its surface and atmosphere in ways we couldn't have imagined previously. Most recently, we've explored the latest findings and research which continue to shed light on this mysterious planet. From its craters to its polar ice and its peculiar orbit, each revelation about Mercury adds a new layer to our understanding. As we uncover more about Mercury, we are reminded of the endless mysteries and wonders that lie beyond our own planet.